everyone welcome back to my channel so I know today was supposed to be a review of the Kat Von D palette I still have that coming but I got a couple of my glam bags in and I really wanted to get these up as soon as possible so what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna do uh, the unboxing of both of the BoxyCharm boxes base and premium and uh, <laughs> yes I have opened them already uh, I wanted to see if I got the Natasha Denona palette and I also one of the boxes came a little busted so I just want to make sure that everything was okay because I didn't want to you know open up a box and have everything like shifted towards me so now I haven't gone completely through them uh, except for the little one to see if I got the palette and uh, yeah I have a lot of thoughts so before we get started if you guys are not subscribed please go ahead and hit that button down below I would love to have you you can also follow me on Instagram snapchat Twitter I will have those all linked down below for you as well so let's go ahead and start with the base box all right so I'm actually just gonna start off by saying that I did not get the Natasha Denona palette I would absolutely have loved to receive that in my palette. Obviously, when I filled out, filled out my form uh, and you kind of label, you know, what are your favorites, number one, number two, number three, blah, blah, eyeshadow palettes are like my number one favorite thing to get. And with such a prestigious brand like the Tasha Denona, that would have been right up my alley. And I'm just like, ugh, boxy charm. <laughs> Pissing me off. Um, but that's okay. I actually got on to a Facebook ba Facebook group, excuse me, and I was able to purchase one. So that's fine. I'm still going to get it. But I think for such a big item and seeing it all over the place, it was just kind of like, I wanted one. <laughs> okay, but let's just get, let's just get into this box and I will show you. Oh, but they gave me a 25% off coupon for Tintosh and Denona. They're still too expensive, even with a coupon. So, whatever. All right, they did send me the Beauty Creations Cali Glow Palette. So I'm guessing that this is, was my replacement. I really do like the packaging on this. It's very, very pretty. Um, <laughs> this is what I get for not completely going through the box. Look, they're crushed. Damn. Um, it looks like it actually would have been too dark for me anyway. Hmm. But let's have, like, at least give the, the light one a swatch. The other two definitely look too dark, but that's really, really pretty. That's a really pretty highlighter. Darn. All right, maybe I'll contact them and uh, see if they can replace this. And uh, yeah, uh, the next item we received is from 111 Skin. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. Now, this is supposed to be a very, very expensive brand. I've heard nothing but good things about this brand, so this is actually really exciting. This says this ultra hydrating concentrate provides an instant moisturization boost to quench and replenish dry and hydrate, dehydrated skin. After use, the complexion will appear plump, conditioned, and rejuvenated. Very nice. Let's see what the packaging inside looks like. Ooh, it's a dropper. <laughs> this actually is really, really heavy. I do like the packaging on this. It definitely is going to make it a lot easier to use um, as far as the drops go. So I'm actually really interested to try test this out and see how this works because I do have dry skin and in the wintertime I become a crocodile. So, <laughs> so this is actually going to be right up my alley. The next product we have is from Je Jekka Black. This is a liquid corrector in the shade 2.0, vegan friendly and cruelty free. So I guess this is a concealer. No. Liquid corrector offers a light coverage and corrects under eye darkness. Let's see what shade this is, if it's a corrector, if it's going to be light enough. Okay, here we go. So it's like that uh, peachy pink kind of shade. 
So I'm actually really interested to test this out. I do have some dark circles. I have not been sleeping like I would like to. So this will be interesting to test out and see if it works in my favor. Another product we have in the base box is the Antioxidant Spray Toner from Dr. Brandt. Now I haven't heard of this. Have you guys even heard of this? Because I've never seen this before. I've, I've seen like um, the face washes and everything and the primer, but I've never seen this. Uh, it says, with green and white tea extract, protects against free radicals, leaves skin, revitalized, improves skin barrier. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I will just have to give that a test a little bit later. And the last product we have is the Gimme Brow in the shade 3. This is your like your standard shade that they usually send out. Um, is this full size? Yes, it is. This is a full size uh, Gimme Brow. So I'm excited to have that. Sometimes my brows are on the lighter side, uh, especially in the summertime. So um, I actually use shade like three and a half, four. Sometimes I can use the three and that's fine. Um, so I'm really actually excited to have this in here. This is one of my top favorite brow products. I actually am wearing it on my brows today. Uh, so super, super excited for this. Okay, so really quickly, this is the version 38. Uh, let's do a price check, and I will tell you guys the weight of everything at the end. So the 111 skin is $135. I told you that was supposed to be pricey. Uh, the Dr. Brandt Spray Toner is $40. The Benefit Brow is $24. Uh, the Beauty Creations Cali Glow Palette. $14.99. We're going to say $15 instead of Natasha Denona, but that's okay. Uh, the Jekka Black Liquid Corrector is $15. So the total price of this box is $229. So, oh man, is it a good box? I still think it's a good box. I did have my heart set on the other product, but it's still a good box. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the base box. Okay, so the very first thing I have in my base box, uh, this is actually pretty cool because I just bought my first like face mask brush. I have never owned one before, so I, <laughs> I will have two more to add to that little collection of mine. So this is the Cosmetics uh, brush combo. So this is a cleansing brush and a dual sided silicone mask applicator. So that's really cool. Uh, this right here, this first brush, this is like your uh, brush to help wash your face. It is a little bit more on the stiff side. Um, it does have like bumps, so you put your cleaner on it and you actually wash your face with this. I think that's really, really cool. I've never seen anything like this and the brushes are, the bristles are actually really soft. So I'm super excited to test this one out. Um, and then this right here is your mask brush. So this is a little bit different than the one I just bought. So it is flat on one side. And then on the other side, it has a whole bunch of like, um, kind of like when you have the brush cleaner mats, that's what it feels like. Uh, <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. So this will be really interesting to work with. Um, but I'm super excited that these are in here because I would like to start using mask brushes because sometimes when I do like clay masks and things like that, you know, getting it all over my hands is not the funnest thing, especially if you have, a, you know, one of your kids that come into the room like, hey mom, I need this, and you like got mask product all over your hand. <laughs> so these are, these are fun. The next item we have is from Grown Alchemist. This is the Detox Night Cream. I want to say like I've gotten this before. but maybe not maybe the other one was like the it was a longer white tube uh, but I am not going to open this I'm actually gonna go ahead and pass this into a giveaway 
I do have a lot of night face products, so uh, there is no need for me to keep this. I'm gonna just go ahead and set this over here for my Christmas giveaway. Now the next item I have is from Dose of Colors. I actually really enjoy the Dose of Colors brand, uh, but this is their single eyeshadow in the shade I Need Space. Now, I'm not really a single eyeshadow kind of gal. I'm more of eyeshadow palette person. Um, so I will not be keeping this. And I do have a shade pretty much just like it from them. So this is what the shade looks like. It looks like this black mixed with deep blue sparkly color. It's really, really pretty. Um, but like I said, I do have a shade like this. So I'm going to also set this aside to go in my Christmas giveaway. The next item we have is from Real Her. This is the Lip Liner Duo. Uh, I actually don't use lip liners. I, uh, so this is something that I would not keep myself. Real Her is supposed to be certified cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, gluten free, infused with shea butter and infused with jojoba seed oil. So let me show you guys what the shades look like. I'm not going to swatch them or anything um, because I might put them in this in the giveaway as well. All right, so I'm assuming that the bottoms are what the shades look like. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so afraid to use a lip liner. I know I probably should or could, but my lips crooked anyway. <laughs> so that's why I haven't. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do with those. The next item is from Smashbox. This is their Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. And of course, this is a let's see, shade 01. Now, is this the one that gives you flashback? I don't remember. I do like the fact that it looks like a camera lid. That's actually really cool. It says twist for fresh powder. Oh, that's really cool. So I guess it opens and closes. I like the construction of this. So many powders that I have, you have to tap it out and like put it in the lid, which for use it's not it's fine but if you're putting it back together again and then kind of powder goes everywhere if you accidentally do too much and I feel like that's a waste um, so the fact that you can twist this for a new powder I think is really cool so uh, let me know down in the comments below if you have used this powder for did you guys get any flashback um, and how did this work out for you I would love to know all right and the last product for our uh, premium box is the Pure 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Powders Face Palette. I actually do enjoy face palettes, so I'm really excited to have this in here. Uh, Pure Cosmetics is cruelty and vegan free, so that's always a, uh, a plus for me. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's really sleek. Uh, it's actually kind of heavy, which makes it feel more luxurious. Uh, so in here you get a translucent powder, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. Nice. And these shades are fair light. That is interesting. Oh, that is actually really interesting. Let me get a little bit closer. So, oh, there you go. <laughs> so these are your shades right here. So I'm assuming that this one being the lightest one, this is your translucent powder your uh, bronzer, your blush, and your highlighter. Should we do some swatches? I think so. Let's do some swatches. Alright, so there is your bronzer, your blush, and your highlighter. Those are really pretty colors. And that bronzer is actually really pretty. It's not too orange. So I can't wait to test that one out. Typically, when it comes to a bronzer, I either stick with one of the two, uh, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, which is what I have on today, or the Marc Jacobs Tantastic. Tantastic.
stick. Those are the only two bronzers that I use because everything else just pulls really, really orange on me. Um, but this looks like it would work. And I really like that blush. So super excited to test this one out. Okay, so my premium box is version number two. So the Alchemist um, Night Cream is $125. Jesus, that's expensive. And did you see the size of that? It was like, no, thank you. I mean, I invest in skincare. Don't get me wrong. I, I do Drunk Elephant, which is <laughs> as expensive as I'll go, which is like $80. Um, but $125 for a night cream in a very, very small bottle. That, that hurts. Uh, so the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Primer Powder, excuse me, not primer, is $39. Your Pure in One Cosmetics Face Palette is $32. The Skincare Brush Set is $25. Your Dose of Colors Single Eyeshadow is $20. And the Real Her Lip Duo, Duo is $25. So this one comes up to $266. So with that being said, uh, I actually like premium. I, I feel a little bit kind of like premium could have also been like a base box. If you're, you feel me? Um, I think. It felt like it could have been base box. But I still like both boxes. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you that like to know the weight of the box, uh, I will go ahead and tell you. I did not forget about you. I just have to look it up really quickly. Okay, so for the premium box, it weighs 1.7 pounds. And then my base box is... Uh, 1.3 pounds. So for those of you guys who like to know the weights, uh, I am starting to remember to put those in there. So hope you guys appreciate that. Uh, all right, guys. So that's it for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. I do have that review coming your way. So make sure you guys stay tuned and I will see you on the next video. Bye.